How are we doing today? We're going to go over the Shaper, which is a machine that is very versatile. One of the things that it does is it will put a decorative edge around a piece of wood. What it can also do is do the styles and rails for doors. You can do rabbit joints with it. You can do all sorts of different cuts with this machine. The, the, the shaper, all right, or router shaper, is really a cousin of the handheld router. Just like the joiner and the planer are cousins, uh, so is the router and the shaper. Although this can do a lot more. This is uh, what we do with, by hand, but you can use a lot of the uh, bits. Not all of the bits. I would not really be able to do the styles and rails for a door with the router, but I certainly could do this. And it would be quicker and easier to do this with the router than on the shaper. We will be demoing the router on another day. Today we are only doing the shaper. Matter of fact, what I would like you to do is come with me and we're going to take a look at all the different bits that we have. This is where we keep our router or shaper bits and what we have is a whole variety of them. So depending on the profile is what you'll uh, end up with. For this one, this is called an OG. This is the one that did this one right here. So as you can see, we can get a whole lot of different profiles. A quarter round, these are for doing uh, rabbits or dados. Very, very versatile. Over here, these ones are for doing uh, styles and rails. So on a raised panel door, here's your style and here's your rail. And there's two different bits that will do that. So let's go see how to set this up. What we have is we have our bit. What we want to do is put it into the collet and then what we're going to do is tighten it. Now, every machine is a little different. This particular one, I'm not really fond of. It's a good one. We will be getting a better one, all right? So if anybody's out there that sells better shapers, just let me know. <laughs> so over here, what we want to do is we want to raise this up. And then what we're going to do is tighten the bit in. So what we want to do is hold it and then tighten her in. Now depending on the bits that you're using, you might want to change the insert in there. So now what I will do is I will lower this down. Now what I want to do is I want to bring the fence forward and I want to get the ball bearing and the fence in a straight line. So what I would do is I want to take a piece of wood and you can see that it's not in line. But what I want to do then is loosen these up and bring that forward and tighten it in place. Depending on the bit that you have, if you go back here, you can loosen and move part of the fence out. Sometimes what we have is a bit like this in there, so you need to move this, all right? You want it close to the bit, about a quarter to a half inch, and then lock it in place. Just like uh, the joiner and the planer, uh, we only want to do solid wood. You don't want to do plywood, you don't want to do particle board MDF. It's uh, mainly for 
solid wood. Otherwise, you will mess up the bits. So we've set the, the, the bit in. Now what I want to do is I am going to raise or lower for um, the profile that I want. And I'm looking right here. That's just a little high. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just drop it down just a little bit. Now, like other machines, the wood goes on the table against the fence. The bit is behind here. I don't want to put my hand behind it. And what I want to do is when I push, I am going to walk with the board because sometimes we have longer boards. And if the board's really long, you want to have a helper or a roller stand. So I'm standing here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it. I'm keeping against it. I'm keeping it down. My hand will come around. I'll walk with the board and pull it out. If you're doing smaller stock, always use a push stick. Sometimes what we'll do is we'll use a miter gauge with that. That will show later on. So now I have it set. And what I am going to do, again, we have anti-skid tape. We have eye safety, ear protection, no loose clothes. I'm ready to go. Turn it on, let it get up to speed. Now if I needed to, I could pull that off. If I was only going to a certain uh, position on it, if I was coming in three or four inches, I would have that mark. So now you can see the profile on that. I can always come back. So if I'm coming down, I'm bringing this hand around. And what I was just doing is actually coming off the fence. So I didn't have a clean cut to show you. If that occurs, that's fine. Just go back. Walk with your board. And now it's all cleaned up. Turn it off. This machine also is set so you can hit it with your knee. The other thing before using this, all right, I get two demerits. Turn the dust collecting system on. <laughs> So it's all set, I'm ready to go. Make sure you have your dust collection system on. Boards against the fence, turn it on. Walk my hand around, move my feet. Nice wide stance, bring my hand around. Beautiful. And there we go. So I've just done my edges. I can do the edge grain. So I could go across this way. It would be easier for me if I used a miter gauge. Now remember, what is straws? This is with the grain. So these are the straws. So if I go this way right at the end, it's going to blow off the end of this. So what I want to do is I want to support it. So what I am going to do is I am going to use my miter gauge. Now, this is a machine that we can use, the miter gauge and the fence, at the same time. Not on the table saw. So now, if I went on this one right here, the end would blow off. So what I'm going to do is get a piece of scrap wood. And I'm gonna, just going to put it behind it. So what's going to happen is it's going to support the straws and the scrap wood will get blown off. So now I'm ready to go. Remember, fan on. Wait for it to come up to speed. And now what I'm going to do is just slowly walk the board. And now what 
I'm going to do is come around again and I'm going to do the other side. Walk with the board. So now I have a nice drawer front. I look forward to seeing you in class.